Call of Duty 2019 is coming out this year. Many people are speculating that it will either be Modern Warfare 4 or Call of Duty Ghost 2. I'm hoping that it will be COD Ghost 2, because I really like Call of Duty Ghost and I like the campaign. As you know, many fans didn't like the past two Infinity War games. These are Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Ghost. Many fans didn't like Infinite Warfare because it was the third instalment which had advanced movement and people were getting tired. It's the same reason why people didn't like Call of Duty Ghost, because people are getting tired of the same Call of Duty over and over again. I want Call of Duty 2019 to be really good and this is 5 things that it needs to succeed. Number 5 no advanced movement. Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare all had advanced movement and they were all set in the future. People liked the advanced movement at first in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but this was because it were a change. And after a few months, it died out and people didn't like it. And then Black Ops 3 came and people were sort of alright with that because it were Treyarch and um, Treyarch make good games anyway. But then when Infinite Warfare came out, everybody were tired of this futuristic advanced movement stuff and that's why it got all the hate that it did. Now World War 2 obviously didn't have any advanced movement in it, they want any EXO Hitler, but Black Ops 4 sort of had a little bit of advanced movement because you could have a grappling hook, gravity spikes and stuff, but we're not, we don't want to be like Rico Rodriguez. I just want Call of Duty 2019 to be boots on the ground, proper Call of Duty like Modern Warfare 1, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, I mean Black Ops 2 was sort of futuristic but it wasn't over the top. At number 4 we've got map size. Obviously Call of Duty Ghosts had a lot of big maps, one of these maps was Stonehaven and this map was just too big. It meant for really slow gameplay, people were getting flanked from behind because that's how big it was. People were just sat in corners waiting, camping. Lots of people are saying that Infinity Ward wanted it to be 18 vs 18 in Call of Duty Ghosts, but due to restrictions at the time they couldn't make this possible. I'm not saying that the maps need to be small, like shipment, I'm just saying that they don't need to be massive and they need to rework what the maps look like and how they work. At number 3 we've got map textures. Now this is different to map size because I'm talking about how good the maps look, where they're set and how they play. In World War 2 basically every single map was a free lane way. In Infinity War do like to make maps that aren't free way and a, and a 5 way or 6. And they also look really good like Stonehaven again the castles it looked really good but they just need to find that balance between too big and too small. At number 2 we've got gun balance. In the past Infinity War games, all the guns have been overpowered. And if every single gun is overpowered, that means that they're all balanced, if you know what I mean. And I think they should do the same with Call of Duty 2019, because obviously it's been made by Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward have made some good guns, and I think they might bring some new guns to the table in this new game and all. At number one, it might be obvious, but it either needs to be Modern Warfare 4 or Call of Duty Ghost 2. When I was younger, in 2013, when I played Call of Duty Ghost, like, it was my favourite game. Like, that game, I, I still think it's my favourite Call of Duty today. I know it didn't, like, many others' favourite Call of Duty, but I, at the time, I just I just really enjoyed it. And I have played Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 2, and I do really enjoy them games too. I ain't really played much of Modern Warfare 3, but I could do it in future. I don't know if there's any story left of the Modern Warfare series, so it could potentially ruin it if they made a Modern Warfare 4. If they made a Call of Duty Ghost 2, it'd wrap up the story, and it tells what happened to Logan at the end of Call of Duty Ghost, which is just everybody wants to find out what happened to him. They could do something different and make a completely different title. But I think this would be a bit risky and we just need to go back to the roots of Call of Duty. If you like this video please like and subscribe and comment down below if you want another video on it.